All right, good morning or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video. For me, it's three in the morning, but hey, I got a spark of inspiration, so I might as well do this now when I have energy. So this video will be a guide on how to uh, set up the, uh, so for now, solo private Monster Hunter Tri server. Um, before we do anything, I will recommend that you make a folder to where you, you are going to... Uh, Set this up and just call it, I don't know, Monster Hunter Try Private Server. Just to start things off, and we'll have that there so that uh, we could keep things organized. There is a download uh, list that you will need to have before you even do anything, before you even like, go down to these first steps. First off, you will have to download Python. Uh, to be precise, 2.7.18, that is the latest one. Um, this is a guide for Windows, so I'm assuming you have um, some sort of release of Windows. You have to download the Windows X86 MSI installer. It does not matter if um, you have 64 or 32-bit, you need to get the X86 uh, version of it. So I'll save that there. Installing. Next. You'd have to actually download the MH3SP project here. Just uh, download zip. Leave it there. Next thing you will need is a DWC network server emulator. Do the same thing. Download zip. Boom. You also need the ISO patcher, so we'll get that as well. Download that. Boom. And finally, you will need the Wii Scrubber. We just go all the way. It's probably an easier manner of doing this, but you know, just download. Boop. And boop. Alright, cool. There's a lot of things you need to download. Next steps will be to install Python here. I already have it installed, so I will not do that. But once that installation is done, what you will need to do is open CMD and copy this and paste that in your CM, uh, CMD. So that'll do its thing that it will install Twisted for Python 2.7, which you will need for this. The step after that will require you to go to the DWC um, zip. So I will actually make a, a separate folder for zips. Boop, and extract here. We'll go down to altwfc.config. So we'll open this with Notepad. Open. Make sure this is on. Control save. All right. Next, we shall click on master underscore server dot py. That'll do its thing. It'll do all this gunk here. And then if it says yada yada server is now listening to dot dot dot, yeah, that means you are good. That is a good sign. All right, so once that is over, let's close it. Next, you will need a dot ISO of Monster Hunter Tri that you got legally, of course. Um, if you have a ISO that or a Monster Hunter Tri in WBFS format, uh, there's a tool they could find at Vimslayer that will um, convert the WBFS to ISO. So. So then you know that exists, but this will only work with a dot ISO monster under try uh, game. So we shall. Okay, so after that step is over, what we will need is this. We need the patcher. So let's get this extracted and get to work on that. So I move our copy of try in here. And so we will drag and drop. And then it'll patch our game so that it will work with our private server. Without this, you will get a error. Um, I have to wait on this, so I might as well show the error. I have trouble shooting here. Um, if you don't do this, you will get the error code. I believe it is 2340L. That just means you didn't patch your game. I had this error. 
uh, because a of a very important step you will see after this is over. So I'm gonna wait. All right, it's over. So we shall press the key. Important step. This is not what we are gonna use in the next steps. This is pretty much a vanilla copy of Monster Hunter Try. We will use this one. There we go. Alright, so our next step will require us to extract the main DOL file from this game. And we will use that to uh, modify the certification so that we don't have to do anything that's sketchy. Um, or will be sketchy in the future once we can actually play online with your friends. Okay, so our next step would require us to use Wii Scrubber. So we shall open this. I believe the only things we need are possibly the key and the actual Wii Scrubber. So grab those and replace. Boom. Alright. Right here. Okay, so we have to click on make key. We shall put in the numbers four and two. All right, boom. All right, cool. Without that, this one worked. So got that open, and now we should load ISO, which load is the modified ISO we did in the previous step. Here, this one that is in the, uh, the images folder here. So this is what we need. So I go to that directory. All right, go to the directory here. Where you have all these files, and we go to Patcher, Images, make sure it's this one. Do not use this one. This is a v the vanilla ISO. Repeat, use the one that is in Images. Open. And we wait for this to open. Alright, so, down plus here. And here is our main.dol. Gonna want to right click, extract. And we shall put this with our uh, other server uh, folder. So we go in here. Uh, oh, right. Okay, I forgot to stop. All right. Before we do that, I need to um, unzip the actual private server here. So paste. It's right here. Master. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna need these. We're gonna have to put the DOL file in this folder here. Dot cert, or that certification. Um, so, extract. Go back. Private server. The MH3SP master folder. Cert. And save. Alright. File save, let's go here at main.dol. Okay. So this step is purely optional. If you just want it to work, you can skip this step. But I would recommend that you do this as this will um, ensure that in the future when online is actually capable for now, you will be playing solo. Um, but in the future, you would want this certification to be a thing. If you do not want to do this, I will quickly show those steps on how to play the game as is. Um, so, give me a second. Right. So, if you do not want to do this certification step, it's an extra step that I would recommend full heartedly. Um, but if you don't want to do it for whatever reason, you, will, you have to go to config interface. You would want to click on Show Debugging UI. And then in the Network tab, you would unclick Verify Certificates. That's it. This puts your computer to some very large security risks, which is why it is not recommended to skip this step. So, yeah. I will be showing how to add the certification. Okay, so once you have the main.dol file in your certification folder here, what you have to do is click on the address bar, type in CMD. Now, we're going to type in a command here pretty soon, but what we have to do uh, is, depending on the version of the game you have, I am um, going to patch the NA version of the game, so I will be using this right here. 
But uh, assuming you have Python installed on your C drive, you gotta add on um, an extra little bit. So just add on that front of all of this. So space, boom. All right. So you grab this, paste, and it looks like it didn't do much. But in reality, it just patched your game. So now it is ready to be played. That's it. Okay. This step was probably the hardest one for me, only because the uh, instructions on this GitHub are really bad. Alright, so since we have modified that main.dol, we need to replace the one we are currently scrubbing. So we have to go back here and our search, click on main.dol, open, and it will replace the file. And once that is done, we shall close Wii Scrubber. Uh, keeping it open has proven to cause issues in the next step. So this next step requires us to actually go into our host file, which is inside our C drive. So we just go to Windows, scroll all the way down to System32. Then we go to Drivers, which is right about here. We go to Etc. We have hosts. Um, for some people, we'll, they will have issues on this part simply because we need to have administration um, control. Uh, one way to circumvent this is to just move host to your um, desktop. So we open with notepad, boom. And on the GitHub page, we have the code that we will need. So without uh, this is modified because I did this earlier today but if you never touch this fo uh, file it would look like this. So any line that has these uh, pounds the, uh, the computer will not read but these it will. So just copy what's here, paste it here, save um, and then move host back in here. Continue. Boom. All right. That's probably the most intrusive part of this whole project. All right. Now, pretty much at this very moment, it is the moment of truth. So we have our modified Monster Hunter Try ISO. So we'll be quickly moving that to where I have my game stored. Um, if you are like me, and have multiple copies of Try because I had a different offline patch way back when. Uh, I would recommend renaming it. I don't know. Just keep it easy to remember what it is. So this is our modified um, ISO, which we will use in order to play um, on our private server. An extra little step before I start the uh, server process, I will recommend to do this in case uh, there are any errors. What we need to do, we need to go in tools. We need to go to perform online system update. Press yes. And, uh, or rather, I already did this before. So, if it wasn't updated, I recommend updating it. If it was, you never did this, you have to click on one of these. So this would update the virtual Wii on here to be ready for online. But besides that, we are ready to get everything set up and we shall hop in the game. Okay, before we go and actually play our game, before any time you want to play in Lockleg, what you have to do, you need to go to our DWC network server and double click on master. That would open up. You get here, that means all is good. You also need to do every time is go to the MH3SP on master and click on that. That will open all these windows. And you will need to do this every time you want to go to Locklack. So now we should open Dolphin. And everything should work. Hopefully. So we just go through the uh, usual menus.
I know it's blasphemy to skip the opening cutscene, but I have to. Just for time's sake. To our file here. Continue. User file. Go to the city. Step forth into a city that no hunter has stepped in since 2013. There we go, it works. Let's go here. Connect to our server. Even though you're doing all this connecting crap, you're technically only connecting to yourself as, you know, yeah, you see. We are the only hunters around for now. But maybe one day that will change. And we'll be able to hunt with hunters all over the world once more. And with that, that ends my tutorial. Hopefully, um, everything works smoothly. Um, there's some troubleshooting stuff that, um, are noted here if you are getting this error it means the servers aren't running properly either that or you just did not patch the game correctly um if you're getting this error it's because you didn't um you probably messed up with the iso with patching so it is very important once more that the um the iso that we are using comes from this folder. It is empty now because I have that ISO in my games folder. But yeah, that's it. I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, I believe there's a Discord that uh, is happy to help with this sort of thing. I believe they even have a chat readily available for this. Uh, I'm not in part of that Discord, so your mileage may vary, but I've heard that they are very helpful. Until next time. Stay safe. See ya.